What is up beauties? Welcome back to my channel and to the final episode of hair week this month. We are going to wrap things up with this gorgeous bang highlighted unit that I really love. It's very beginner friendly. This is like the easiest tutorial out of all of them. Today's video is sponsored by Jessie's wig again. So huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video and sending over this gorgeous unit. So if you want to know how to achieve this look, keep on watching. One time, yeah. I need to hold up. So I've just started with putting my stocking cap on. I'm not gluing it down. We're not doing the full method today, which I love about any unit with bangs. It's like you don't have to prep super, super hard, which I like. Um, so these are the bangs. We are gonna trim them. The inside of the cap is typical cap construction. Three combs are on the top, one in the back, adjustable straps, and an elastic band. I personally didn't feel the need to bleach the knots or anything for the parting space, so I just left it as is. And here's just a close-up of the caramel highlights. As you can see, some pieces are a little bit more toned than others. It's not brassy, it's just, you know, as you can see, it's a little lighter back here, and then the sides are a little more caramel and brown kind of mixture. So um, it's still pretty. Once it's curled, it's beautiful. So I am using the T3 Single Pass curling iron today you guys saw a few days ago I told you I'm more of a fan of the curling iron from hair so chic because it's not as slippery when you're curling your hair and you'll see what I'm talking about in this video so I just went ahead and plopped that wig on I adjusted everything underneath but I'm not gluing it down or anything I think when you have bangs like I said unless you're in a very windy city or a very windy area you really do not need to go glue it down you don't have to worry about um, the hairline or anything like that so that's why I love wigs with bangs because I just feel like you can really just plop and go you know if you're running late just plop on a unit with bangs and you're straight out the door so I'm starting with my paddle brush to just brush everything out this paddle brush is from insert name here and I'm honestly a huge fan this is my second one that I've gone through and I just I love it on ponytails on wigs extensions everything get you an INH paddle brush okay so I'm starting from the bottom and just grabbing this little section right here I also didn't use a heat protectant or any hair serum or anything just so you can see how smooth this is gliding which is like a, a good and bad thing I guess I don't know it's you don't have to worry about tugging your hair it really just glides it is a single pass um, collection but I've burnt myself so many times using these curling irons and like I said I have a few of them I have like four different sizes and even the smallest one that are like the little ringlet curls for your natural hair I've burnt myself with that one too so I don't know what's going on <laughs> I think it's just it's too silky for me and that's why I like the um hair so chic curling iron because like i said it's like textured but i don't know girl maybe y'all like this one um i think i'm just gonna leave it to the professionals <laughs> to use this one i just don't feel like it's a very beginner friendly curling iron if you're not used to using curling irons i think it's a it's a hazard <laughs> a little bit but it's so beautiful the aesthetic of it is gorgeous the way you turn it on you kind of just twist the bottom of the curling iron so i love the way they made this i love the way the curling iron looks i just do not feel like it's beginner friendly so if you are new to curling irons i would say get the hair so chic one if you're used to it and you know what you're doing and you're like i could never burn myself then i challenge you with the t3 <laughs> single pass curling irons and let me know how your skin is all right so i'm finishing off the curls i think this could have been curled in two pieces but i just i put it all in one um i did not want to bore you guys with more curling so i went ahead and just sped the rest of this up and then we are going to cut to the other side of my head once i completely finish girl that's how we look very cute um i don't want to tossle through the curls yet i'm just going to let them fully dry but for now we're going to go into these bangs girl i love the bangs but they were like touching they were like past my nose like they were just very very long which i appreciate because everyone needs to cut them to their length you know you kind of want them wispy by your eyelashes but not in your eyelashes you know it's just like faintly touching it um so i just cut those and then i use the curling iron again to curl down and curl out to the side so that those little side pieces were swept backwards a bit um and then you just kind of play with it if you have to trim it some more if you want to do the little point cut underneath you totally can i felt like it wasn't necessary um, and maybe it could have gone a little bit shorter, but I do like it like this. I also like bang units because you don't have to worry about doing your eyebrows. It'll cover it all. <laughs> don't have to worry about that. Now, if you want to flatten up that top piece, you can go in with the curling iron again to do that. You could also heat up your hot comb 
and flatten it that way but it really didn't need any other product i am going in with the r co two-way mirror you would think they're sponsoring hair week <laughs> but they're not i just really love their products well those two the two-way mirror and the balloon love them i didn't use the balloon today and the hair honestly didn't really even need the two-way mirror serum i could have just gone in with a wide tooth comb and comb through the curls and we would have been ready to rock but because I love the smell of it and I love that product so much, <laughs> I went ahead and used it. I rubbed a little bit in my hands and then just spread the curls out that way with my fingers. But that is all, girl. It is a very simple, very beginner friendly, any unit with bangs is very beginner friendly, but I love the way this came out. It is a caramel brown spring video vixen 90s kind of vibe and I'm here for her. I think she's very cute. So as always, I will have all the links in the description box below for Jessie's wig and any of the products that I use. Also, all the things are also in my Amazon storefront. I don't know if I've ever said that on YouTube. I have on Instagram, but I do have an Amazon storefront. So a lot of the products I use from hair stuff to nail stuff and everything in between, dog stuff, I've got it all in my Amazon storefront. So be sure to check that out if you are interested. Let me know what you think of this unit in the comment section below. And if you haven't watched the other videos in Hair Week, be sure to check those out along with the blonde unit that's also from jesse's wig so if you haven't seen that one that one is live but until next time until next hair week <laughs> i will see you guys in my next video bye y'all